Hello everybody, welcome to another fantastic episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, I'm at my world famous sipping den. Real quick, let's get it over with. I would love for you to give me a sub. It's important. It helps with my motivation, street creds, analytics. Huge! Now, on this channel I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol. I also do everything that has anything to do with coffee. Right? This is the ultimate channel for us big boys and girls. You want to surf thousands of channels looking for all your stuff or just go to my playlist. The best, most extensive, easily navigatable playlist on YouTube. All right? I'm a mega mall here. This is a mega mall for alcohol. Yeah. Coffee too. So, we got that out of the way. I am having a contest at work. All right? I challenged everybody to pick something out that fits on this channel, right? Alcohol or coffee related. $20 or under. I said I would buy it. I would review it. At the end of two weeks, that each video has been posted for two weeks, I will count the amount of views. And the person who has the most views wins. And I decided to give away a vintage 1970s Bacardi Gold Reserve, Ron Bacardi Gold Reserve, Puerto Rican rum mirror. That is going to the winner. Now, how are we going to get the winner? You're going to pick it up. What's your views? Is there one you like? Pass it around, share it, get the views for the person. All right? Whose product you think is the best. Now, this one Founders Ultimate Oktoberfest. Imperial German style Marzen aged in bourbon barrels. For 10 months. That's a long time. Uh, and who picked this one? Well, my co-worker Sam. Sam picked it. Sam. Yeah. Alright, Sam, it is your beer, buddy. And he claims this one, of course, is going to be the winner. It's funny. Everybody claims their beer is going to be the winner. And Sam is no exception. He swears that this beer is going to win. Um, so, once again, there's the cool label, right? It's got a cool looking label, a little cityscape there. Um, what's it say? What's it say? Roll out the barrel. The bourbon barrel, that is. We're taking the classic German style Marzen and kicking it up a notch by adding the smooth, rich flavors that only that is nine months in a uh, bourbon barrel can provide. Get out your lederhosen and prepare for an intense wave of Bavarian hysteria. Ultimate Oktoberfest is here. Okay. Well, let me see here. Looking to see. It doesn't. Uh, here it is, right here. All right. All right. Yeah. Grand Rapids, uh, Michigan. Now. I'm in the United States. One thing I gotta say about Americans, they take things and they they put their twist on it. Now, I mean, this is, this is you know, the Germans have a, a purity law that has been going since um, 1516. And here we come crashing in, making an Oktoberfest beer and finishing it in bourbon barrel, which is fine. It's probably delicious, we're gonna see. It's definitely American as American could be. Uh, bourbon is our uh, native spirit. Anyway, I'm excited to view it, uh, review it, and wish Sammy luck. And if you want him to win, if you like, if you think this is the best one in the series, all right, because I'm posting them every day, right, posting the uh, rules, and then every day for like six days, I'm going to post the videos, and then. You, you like one, you think one should win, you like that particular product. Hopefully you share it or whatever you got to do to help that person win. In this case, it would be Sam. Alright. Let's see what we got going on here. Go down like that. And then what you do is... Okay, now I'm going to say this about this. And it might be from the bourbon, whatever, it doesn't matter. It is a traditional color of a Mars on Oktoberfest. 
it's usually a little darker like this. Um, so anyway, take a look at it. All right, you see the color, and now I'm gonna tell you what the smell is. Not to sound ridiculous, but a traditional beer smell. All right, you're blindfolded. They stick this under your nose. You're not guessing Coca-Cola. You're not guessing hot chocolate. You're guessing some type of beer. And I'm getting the hint of the bourbon barrel. There's no doubt about it. It's in there. Traditional beer, grainy, bourbon barrel. Let's give it a taste. And that's pretty simple. That's pretty much what I'm... Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah, yeah. I got a hint of the bourbon barrel on the smell. You will too. Uh, it's kicked the door down on the taste buds. All right, this. Yeah. You thought you saw a sighting of a big foot, a Loch Ness monster. Here comes a flock, a flock on the taste buds. It is strong bourbon barrel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is sweet. It is bourbon. It is bourbon. It is the grain, it's the beer, but the number one thing is the bourbon. It is carbonated bourbon. A little bit of that barrel, well, bourbon. The whole nine yards of the bourbon. Uh, you know what this is? This is a really strong boiler maker. This is a beer, and where you take the shot of, in this case, bourbon, and a, a double shot, and you just drop it in. You drop in the shot, the glass, into the glass, and that's a boiler maker. And in this case, it would be a bourbon boiler maker. Period. That's exactly what this tastes like. Yeah, man, it's um, it's actually pretty good. Of course, I like bourbon. Don't tell anybody. Uh, I like beer. This is good. This is really good. Not traditional. But good. I've had a lot of bourbon beers. Um, I'm in Kentucky, man. I mean, uh, bourbon barrels are everywhere, and there's breweries, and they use them. And uh, I've had a lot of them. To be honest with you, and I may have to do a, a, a contest. There's a couple coming to mind, and I don't have them here, so it might be a little unfair what I'm about to say. But uh, this one might be one of the better ones. Not might be. Is one of the better ones. I'm not going to say it's the best without doing a blind comparison. Uh, but it's really good. And I don't, I mean, it's good in that field of bourbon, uh, you know, Barrel beers. I think you're gonna like this one. So so far, everybody's been doing some cool, unique. They all have their reason why they think they're gonna win. Everything we've done so far has a legitimate shot at it. Absolutely, it's gonna have its fans. Be interested to see who wins. I'm excited. I'm gonna see who gets that mirror and bragging rights. All right, everybody, let's get on to the next one. This is getting exciting.